Good morning. Let's come together in prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass today, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are word made flesh and splendor of God the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Mass is offered for Lupita Cruz de Bendia. As we venerate the glorious memory of the most holy Virgin Mary, Grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God, those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The word of the Lord. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high priests of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the ways scholars uh, have assumed that the, the Gospel of Luke was written about what 70, 80 AD is because of this gospel and many like it that are talking about the destruction of Jerusalem which happened in 70 AD and uh, putting in the words of Jesus uh, uh, the, the, this uh, saying if only you had paid attention <laughs> if only you'd recognize the time of your visitation when Jesus was right in your midst if only you recognize what made for peace all this terrible destruction wouldn't have happened. You know, I, I, I think probably we all say it many times, if only I would have thought of that, or if only such and such would have happened. I, I, I think uh, part of the message is really to be aware of, of the presence of God with us constantly, and, and that's the purpose of prayer and reflection. We honor the Blessed Mother today. Today's a feast of the presentation of Mary. It's uh, one of the teachings from tradition it's it's not in the bible itself but from those external sources uh, uh, that have been handed down through the generations that say that that mary was presented by her parents Joachim and Anne, in the temple as a young girl but maybe mary in that very quiet hidden way teaches us something about paying attention to god in the very quiet hidden ways in our lives to pay attention to what makes for peace. Let's strive to be people of prayer. You know, the book of Revelation is, is not about the future, it's about the present. The people were experiencing all these horrible things when the book of Revelation was written, and, and, and it, much like all apocalyptic writing, calls us to be aware. Revelation means a, 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 a lifting of the veil, a, a awareness of, of what is hidden. Let's ask God to help us be more and more aware of all that is hidden in our lives, his very presence, and come to know the time of our visitation, to come to know what makes for peace. Let's stand to pray. Lifting our hearts to the Lord, we bring these prayers. For cities under siege, the people within them, we pray to the Lord. For children who have lost parents and parents who have lost children, we pray to the Lord. For the transformation of dictators, those who have oppressed their people, we pray to the Lord. For a commitment to protecting our earthly environment and all its resources, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering in mind, body, and spirit, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, hoping for the mercy of Christ, particularly all those whose names are in our book of remembrance, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers we pause to mention now in silence. We pray to the Lord. Merciful God, you watch with sorrow the affliction forced upon the humble and lowly of the world. May we feel your sorrow and become your son's hands and feet 
binding broken hearts and bodies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given in human hands, have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, <clears throat> to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things. You have extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope with Dennis, our bishop, with all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Thomas More, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in God's love, we dare to now pray. Our Father, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I say word in my soul.
Blessed are you, O Virgin Mother, above all women, for you are exalted, that your praise will be unending and undying on our lips. Let us pray. We offer the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.